everyone and welcome once again to Ask the Trexperts, the show where we answer your questions about Star Trek. I'm Captain Logan. And I'm Sarah. Sarah, today's question comes from Goku48071 who asks us to talk a little bit about how we got into Star Trek. Hmm. Yes, indeed. So that's what we're talking about today. <laughs> um, hopefully people are interested in this, but uh, one person asked, so there we go. We thought we'd answer it. Uh, so we're going to talk about ourselves today a little bit. Um, a little bit of a self-absorbed sort of exercise and uh, talk a little bit about how Sarah and I got into Star Trek. Sarah, why don't you go first? Well, I got into Star Trek a bit later in life. <laughs> Um, I had very little exposure to it growing up. Um, I know my dad was into Star Trek. Um, he didn't watch it very often. Um, we didn't really have access to it, and I didn't have cable growing up, so basically when the movies came out, he'd rent the movie and go into the basement and watch it. So, I mean, I think my only exposure to Star Trek before I went off to college was watching the last 20 minutes of First Contact. And that was really? It. Yes. Wow, that's interesting. Yep. I, I remember distinctly the first day I met you, and I, I don't remember why Trek came up, but I remember because it was me, I guess. I I remember uh, the first uh, the first day I met you, um, asking for some reason about that, and you saying I prefer Star Wars over Star Trek. And boy, boy, boy how things change, right? Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, pretty much all I'd seen was. The last 20 minutes of First Contact. Right. And compared to Star Wars, mm -hmm. you know, pers just personally. Well, I agree with you. You know, well, especially sure. not having seen the beginning of the movie. Yeah, or, or having no or, idea. Well, no. Or no. having any no idea of, you know, the universe at all. So it's pretty easy to say, oh, I prefer Star Wars. Yeah, you can't really but, uh, have you know, a considered opinion Yes. at that so, point. But I still like the Star Wars films. But um, went off to college, met this guy. And um, we got to talking, and he was like, oh, man, you've never seen Star Trek. And he didn't want to scare me off, so he didn't show me any for a while. Right. Yeah, you, you just, you, well, I was just letting you tell your, yes. your part of it. Um, but, 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 yeah, I mean, you kept kind of, kind of, uh, you actually kept asking me about it. Yeah, I did, because, uh, well, you told me about the, the Klingon language the first time we met. And I and was, that was big into language. And, so. and that was just sort of a breaking the ice sort of thing, because yeah. Sarah was talking a lot about linguistics and stuff, mm -hmm. and um, seemed kind of, uh, you know, interested in the sci-fi fantasy thing, um, you know. Yeah. Like, again, I, I try, you know, you know, I... I I feel like I've I've always been pretty good at gauging that sort of thing. You know what I mean? Where like yeah. like if I can tell somebody has no interest whatsoever in that sort of stuff, mm -hmm. I'm not you know I'm not gonna bring it up much. But yeah. Um, but uh, but with that, but I wanted to know more. And yeah, so... and, and and what and what we started talking about the most when we you know when we first started dating was you know writing and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so it ended up being kind of natural. Yeah, and so about a month in, I got to see my very first Star Trek episode. And that was Sins of the Father. Followed by what, Best of Both Worlds. I don't remember. It was Best of was Both Worlds. Was it Best Worlds. of Both Worlds? Wow. Yeah. Okay. So those were my very first two Star Trek episodes. And I don't remember exactly what I watched after that. But I watched a lot of good stuff. And some bad stuff, but that was later. So that's, you know, after that, um, I pretty much kind of fell headfirst in, into it. I watched... A ton of Star Trek. You just started watching all my uh, tapes. Yeah. Taped off TV. So again, how times have changed. It's so interesting. I think about this a lot. Like 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 going from taping it off TV mm -hmm. to getting all those factory tapes that my dad gave me for my birthday that one year. Yeah. Um, I think actually the year I met you, um, I got all those all those uh, factory tapes of, of oh, TNG. Oh, just in time. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then um, after that, like they started coming out on DVD, mm -hmm. and we'd buy them when we could get them, but they were really expensive. Mm -hmm. And then, we, you know, we were still borrowing tapes from, from people who had them factory. Yeah, and watching them off of Spike. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and again, taping them and getting getting what you could get. I mean, I, mean, I remember, yeah. you, know, you know, running a Star Trek club for, for, uh, for so many years... It was it was difficult for the first several to get to get our hands on everything, mm -hmm. and I think in the first year we got to where we had access to everything, but it wasn't always the best copies. Mm -hmm. But we could get, we could get everything, yeah. and um, and then fast forward an hour, it's all on Netflix. I don't yeah. even, I mean I own it all, but I don't even have to take the discs out now. <laughs> like I can just turn yeah. it on. It's it's it's, it's really interesting awesome. how how much things have changed in nine years. Yeah, absolutely. So, but that's my story. It's short and sweet. I've only been into Star Trek for, oh, what is it now? Almost Nine 10 years. years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Crazy. We're coming up into our 10th season of our Star Trek Club, mm -hmm. which is nuts. And uh, we plan to keep doing it at least, at least this year and possibly beyond that. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, 
Uh, I have had Trek kind of around me my whole life. Uh, my dad was into it, and I think gro what's interesting is growing up, I, I remember TNG before TOS. Hmm. And I think, I mean, my dad was always into TOS, but again, we didn't always have cable. It was kind of an off and on sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Like I, Like when my parents were together, we had cable, but then after that, I think she didn't. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. And I was little when they, when when they, um, not like Jason little, but I was little. Mm -hmm. You know, you know when they when they uh, uh, when they got divorced. And um, so I think the deal was my dad was in TOS, but I didn't really have any way to see it. Mm -hmm. And so TNG was was on at the time. And so it would it would come up on you know local television. And so I saw that. So anyway, my point is when I finally saw TOS later, I don't think I was older. I don't think I was younger than like eight or nine. Mm -hmm. And um, and uh, I was at somebody's house, and I didn't realize they were the same thing. Really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I had no idea. Um, uh -huh. TOS creeped me out. I was kind of, I was kind, I was kind of freaked out by it. What did you see? I don't remember which. I, I don't. I, I, I don't remember which episodes being a bit creepier, but uh... for some reason, I remember having the sense that that the main characters in the show mm -hmm. didn't have the same regard for life that normal people did. <laughs> I got the sense that at any moment Kirk might just shoot someone and that like 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 Kirk and Spock didn't care if they if if, if either one of them died. And I mean like that's what I remember. And um I, again I don't remember what I saw and I don't think I sat through a whole episode. We'll have to figure out which episode that is. What well and I think the reason that it skewed my whole my uh -huh. whole brain was because I was watching it with these other kids that it, 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 it was like it was, my, my mom was, um, my mom was married to, it was, it was her second husband. My, my mom, my mom had, had been, had been remarried and we were at like their family's house uh -huh. and, um, like, like, like his extended family. And I, I'd never met them before. And there were these kids there that were into Star Trek for some reason. Uh -huh. And I, I were... I th at least I think that's that's whose house it was. Uh -huh. um, but it, but it, what, whatever. Anyway, you were little. <laughs> yeah, I was little, and well, I was you know, I was eight or nine. And, but anyway, um, uh -huh. I don't remember watching it so much as playing it because they were all really into Star Trek. These uh -huh. kids into TOS for some reason, and so they were like 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 we watched a little bit of an episode, and they were, and then they wanted to play Star Trek, hmm. and so and I remember being Spock for some reason, but I just kept getting shot at. <laughs> And oh, so, see, that's where the disregard for a life. Exactly. So I just, I, so I just putting all that together, uh -huh. I got this sense that Star Trek was this, this like really relentless place, you know. But anyway, uh, so, so, that's funny. so, yeah, I know, isn't that weird? I, I guess I've never told yeah, you. Yeah, I guess we've never told you. So getting, uh, so then, so then, uh, as I got older, I realized that they were the same thing, and um, then, uh, then you know, when we had cable again and, and, and stuff, I, I saw, um, I, I saw bits of DS9 here and there, and um, didn't really see any much Voyager until. Um, I, I moved back to my uh, with my dad for a while in Arkansas, who um, started watching it after Seven Nine got on, and um, because he always really liked the Borg. So, so uh, it, I don't think it was a Jerry Ryan was hot thing. I think it was just oh, the Borg are cool. I don't want to watch the show. Yeah. So and Voyager being the Borg show. And Voyager at that point turning into the boy, yeah. So so we got really into Scorpion, yeah. And um and then after Scorpion we got hooked, and so um so I think, ironically, I think Voyager kind of helped cement the Star Trek thing for me. Um, Interesting. Yeah, and I mean like I was never as into Voyager as I was TNG. I mean I always liked TNG more than anything, but I think I think watching Voyager regularly got me to go back and and try to watch all the all the TNG that I had missed because yeah. again we weren't taping them or anything we were just watching them when they were on on TV mm -hmm. um, and then uh, you know fast forward up through high school um, I I was I was really into it at that point um, but still hadn't seen everything uh, and wasn't even really watching DS9 mm -hmm. um, I didn't watch I didn't start really watching DS9 until late high school yeah. um, and so then anyway um, I, I started coming I, I came up with this idea to do to do a to do a club and um, like like kids weren't starting their own clubs that are High school, uh, but um, but I got them to let me do it by making it sound kind of academic. Mm -hmm. So we called it the psychological Star Trek, which got which was amusing because by the time I finally got it off the ground, it became much more the sexual innuendo Star Trek club uh, because we have certain we had certain people in there who just like kept making these jokes and it got really actually kind of funny. Um, so anyway, uh, it, it wasn't nearly as intellectual of an exercise as I think uh, the the people who sponsored it uh, uh, thought that it was, <laughs> but it was okay because in the year after that, I found out that uh, the whole thing had kind of had kind of blown up and there was like a DDR club and all kinds of things and, and I think all of that happened just because I started the Star Trek club and then all these other kids were like hey I could do this too you know so it's kind of fun I was like a pioneer of clubs in my high school yeah. and um, yeah it was kind of neat but anyway uh, so I, I, I would I, I tried to start it junior year of high school and I couldn't get it off the ground but then senior year I got some sponsorship mm -hmm. um, 
And it was really fun because we got to do it in the media room, and the media teacher sponsored it, the film guy. And so we got to watch it with a projector on a, on, on a big wall, and uh, I think that's part of why it w went over so well, because uh, people were finding out that we were doing this and that we were mm -hmm. watching stuff huge, and anything's cooler when it's huge. Yeah. So anyway, um, so we started building this club, and we had like a float in the homecoming parade, we had all kinds of, yeah, and we had all kinds of, all kinds of fun things like that. And um, then, uh, then after uh, high school, um, they wouldn't let me come back and keep running it because I was at high school so I had to start so I had to start fresh and a uh, few people from high school came with me uh, but I started building it up from there and uh, then we started the thing we have now mm -hmm. and um, that was right as I met Sarah so yeah, yeah. So anyway um, that's how I got into it um, yeah. as far as how we got into the knowledge base as far as as far as how we got in into into where we felt like we could even begin to call ourselves Trexperts like we do for the show lots of star trek for a long time and like just talking a lot yeah and i think the club has everything to do with it well they they it, it kind of gave us a venue to talk about it regularly every single week and yeah. we'd watch things so that we could talk about them at club. And constant research. I mean, you know, I do yeah. all these trivia games and, and worksheets and things. Yeah, and, yeah uh, I mean, we'd write quizzes and worksheets for each other. I mean, That's true. Yeah. That's that's some of the stuff we did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Sarah and I are a strange couple. Our, our, our idea of fun is making each other take tests. Yeah. <laughs> I always like tests, personally. I know I'm weird. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so yeah, uh, to, just so to answer Goku's question, that's how we got into it. And uh, and there and there we are, and we're and we're still and we're still doing it today. Indeed. So anyway, thanks everybody for watching this uh, this episode of Ask the Trexperts. And if there's anything you'd like to ask us in a future video, if there's anything you'd uh, you'd like to ask for, Ask the Trexperts, uh, feel free to put that in the comments below. And uh, we'll be back soon. Uh, I think we're gonna try to bring you a commentary next. I can't promise that, but I Hopefully. think that's what we're working on next. So uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, thanks as always for watching. I'm Captain Logan. And I'm Sarah. We'll see you next time. <laughs>